Hey, sweetie fam, welcome back. I am Perfect Janice, produced by Jenny Productions, and your faithful side stylist is it back with another one. Okay, y'all saw the title. It's about to get funky. If you haven't been here before, go down to the subscribe button, click the bell so you can be notified. I drop a video every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. And on this channel, I create family, fashion, and lifestyle content because it's the place to be for all of that. And that's on period. Y'all, it is another dump. Yes. It's another dump, okay? And in this dump, I'm going to be talking about some real deal stuff. So let's just get right into it. First and foremost, we're going to start off on a bittersweet note. It was my birthday, Gemini season. Ah, 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 ah. Y'all, Gemini season is everything to me, okay? Everything to me. Y'all, I'm going to be snacking because a real one is hungry, okay? <laughs> hungry. So Gemini season came about, and as always, I was so pumped up because I absolutely love my birthday. It's nothing like your birthday. I hope that we can all, like, enjoy our birthdays the way they should be enjoyed. I hope we can all enjoy our birthdays the way they're supposed to. I absolutely love my birthday. Like, love it. So even if I'm not doing nothing, like, real, real big extravagant, I'm doing something. I don't like y'all for my birthday because I like to go home to my man at night. <laughs> so I travel for your birthday, your engagement party, your bridal party, whatever. But I don't want to travel for my birthday because at the end of the night, I'm trying to get my back blown out for my man. So, right. Didn't ask for gifts or anything because honestly, I'm a girl who has everything. And I say that as humbly as I can say it. And I'm so blessed and so grateful. So I didn't ask for anything, but just a chill session, okay? With my favorite people. Um, I just wanted my favorite foods, and I got to have a cake. Got to have a cake. And honestly, and, and I got to have something to wear, which I, being I'm being sponsored by more brands, I had something to wear. The bittersweet portion to my birthday is um, June 4th, 2020, which is the day we left Nashville, Tennessee, to come back to Champaign, Illinois, to sign for this home that you see me sitting in my grandmother passed away she passed away at 85 years old and she lived a long beautiful life when she passed away she had five generations from her uterus if you do not know women or girls when they're born they have a lot of eggs it just you know it takes time to get to the portion of puberty and monthly menstruation so from her own eggs because obviously she had children those children had children and so on and so forth she had five generations four children 12 grandchildren i probably about 50 great grands and the list just goes on from that aspect um and so my grandmother was an amazing human being and she just was a light period and she's a gemini her birthday was may 30th and then she passed away on june 4th so this year i actually did really well like i was i, I wasn't like focused on her past you know the day she actually passed away so that is what kept me going and she's like i was just really excited for my birthday the last few years when it comes to my birthday because she passed i didn't want to start my birthday i was struggling so on and so forth yeah but this year your girl was lit. It was a situation. Next thing I gotta talk about is my line sister. So my line sister has been coming to see me since I moved back uh, for the last two or three years for my birthday. She comes and get these kids, okay? So my line, yes, I'm eating and talking. So when my line sister comes in town, she has to get these kids, okay? So she comes every year. My line sister comes every year for my birthday. And baby, she be on God mommy duty. Especially with summer and oh my god, these kids. Okay, so TJ got a lot of time with her. He got her like he had her for like six years. Just her. She dedicated time, energy, all that. Sydney, we end up moving away. However, she used to come to I don't know I lived in Nashville, come to Nashville, um, and then summer hasn't really got her chance to like have her god mommy time baby when her god mama come it's god mommy this god mommy that is i get up there she's dressed the summer is dressed and they're cooking breakfast and they have their vitamins and drink their water and it's a whole thing a lot of comes and stays in probably about five or six days she lives in chicago so it's a, it's a train ride away it's a two hours the road train ride she literally goes to work and then that evening when she gets to work 
takes a tray in. So she's here in Champagne by like 6.30, 7 o'clock. And we kicking it the entire time until she leaves. Shout out to her for always coming through. Um, she's always made my birthday so special. She's an only child, so me and her clicked like this. Definitely, I need to, need to do a QA with my best friend, be my line sister, my best friend, my kids, got mama, so on and so forth. Because she don't like people to know that she stole my seat when we was in college. Mm hmm. Yeah, she don't like, she don't like me to tell you that. But her, it's whatever my heart's desires when it's my birthday. And I love that so much about her because most people don't choose me. You're like, what? Most people do not choose me because of how I come off. People think I'm ghetto, I'm loud, which I am loud. Um, they think that I'm ratchet. They think they're all these things and they never really get to know me. But she always chooses me. And so I never take that for granted. Shout out to my line system. Next is Father's Day, y'all. Me and my husband was having a conversation today about Mother's Day and Father's Day. And he said he saw on Twitter there was a post that says, Mothers get so much more love on Mother's Day than fathers do get them. Even the fathers who are in these kids' life, I had to agree with him. However, I did tell him this. Most of the time, even when there's a two-parent household and the father is pulling his weight, the kids are nine times out of ten with the mother. The mother is either the one that's at home with them all day, every day, um, or the mother, even the mother, mother works, she's the one who's dropping him off, picking him up. Like, she's kind of overdoing her portion and not saying the father doesn't do his portion i'm saying that there's a different type of connection there when it comes to mother and father and not saying that the father is no less than the mother uh, that made me think like maybe i need to do more for him so i asked him what does he want more for father's day am i doing something wrong for father's day and he's like no because when father's day come around even before me and my husband got married i would go crazy for father's day because i never had a father and father should be celebrated so this year we got um what you can see in the video right here we did we kind of did like a gift basket type of vibe because again he's a man who has everything okay we did get, he needed a new book bag, so I got him this really, really, really nice professional book bag. Stuffed it with graphic tees and, and like body scrubs and um, cards and just a lot of other things. His favorite, like candies and popcorn and, and just other, other things, okay? Um, because, like I said, it's hard to give a man who has everything. So. It's hard to give to a man or a woman who has everything. So shout out to my husband. But I last year we uh, I went out and bought all the things to wash his car because he loves to have his car wash. And me and the kids went out there and washed his car by hand, inside and out. And I decorated a table, uh, one of like a, a tray with all of like our pictures on it, and just something special. Like I go above and beyond for Father's Day. However, I do agree with him. Comment down below if y'all agree about Mother's and Father's Day. Do Mother's Mother's Day is a big thing, and Father's Day is just a little. About two or three years ago, I decided to stop um, celebrating the 4th of July and start celebrating Juneteenth because my children need to know more about their heritage and where they came from and things like that. So we celebrated Juneteenth, which was like the day after Father's Day, which was which was actually really cool because my husband had the time off. And um, we did fireworks for the first time, which was really, really dope. We didn't do like nothing really extravagant. However, I kind of just introduced them because we're still figuring out what our traditions will be for Juneteenth. Um, so um, I didn't do, we had outfits, but I didn't do them. I, for, I don't know why I forgot, um, but next year I'm being on point. Period. I did do some sparklers and the little popper thingies so they can get their first experience. And then every year, I'll add a little bit more, you know. We'll really figure out. So within the next, I would say, two to three years, we'll really have, like, a whole, like, day of what we're going to do. No different than when I was growing up, what we did for 4th of July, right? Last and totally not least, y'all, my anxiety and depression uh, tried to jump me this month. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Um, I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression in 2016, which was when I first my when I went to my first therapist in Tennessee, and um, I didn't know why I got sad and was sad for days and upset for days and you know would act a certain way for negatively for days and so you know I went through that process. So I do not take medication for it because I choose not to. Second of all. Um, I've talked about it, but not publicly. And this time I talked about it publicly because I needed to. One thing that helps my anxiety and depression is me publicly talking about me having it, how I feel, and 
um, what triggers it. So this time I didn't realize uh, the the week of the J June nineteenth. Um, June nineteenth is when, um, which was Juneteenth, which was also the day that we buried my grandmother in twenty twenty. As I told y'all, for my birthday, I was perfect, but it just I that's what triggered. But I didn't even realize it triggered until um, y'all know. Well, I have one, two, three, four, one, five Alexas in my home. One of them has a display. It's like the Echo Show. So it has, it's like a tablet. You can search stuff. You can get on YouTube. All those things. Um, and so you could save your pictures as like a screensaver. Amazon Photos. And it always go back on this day. Last year, two years, three years. And then it showed my grandmother's, you know, pictures from the funeral. Not her, but, you know, just a, everybody's gathered. And it was a wrap. I slowly but surely started going down real fast. So, um, I did, when I was really deep in, I did let my husband know. Um, I noticed I was snippy with my children and, um, it just, it was a whole bunch. Okay. It was a whole bunch. So, um, I did talk about it, uh, publicly on social media. And then I did a video for TikTok about it. Um, I was getting dressed and then I, you know, I talked about it. So, with that being said, like, I am now publicly talking about it, which is not something I, I didn't really care to do in the beginning, but I'm doing it. However, I know there's other women who deal with the same thing. Um, and my anxiety and depression come from childhood trauma, father's daughter, validation, which your father's supposed to provide you, um, instability. Um, there's a few other things. So, um, and, and my childhood trauma comes, is triggered by those things. Plus, uh, two people who passed away who were really, really important to me. My cousin Shay passed away when she was 12 and then my grandmother. So when their birthdays come, I struggle. When the day they passed, I struggle. Um, I didn't think they burial day, which trigger me but it did trigger me because my grandma I actually don't even remember when my cousin was buried I do remember the day she passed and then her birthday so with that being said if you do suffer from anxiety or you feel like you're sad too many days in a row you're you know just down in the dumps too many days in a row please reach out to somebody that you can trust and your physician to talk to somebody link up with a therapist and move forward if you have anxiety, depression, how then some ways that you cope without medication. I would love to hear, love, love, love to hear, y'all. I am Fair Patrick Denise, and y'all be sweet, smooches.